absolutely freezing. And where am I? At a train station in the middle of an industrial estate slash nowhere. Um, yeah, this is what happens when I get bored and I have nothing to do. I get on a train and I go somewhere random to them at Patchway near Bristol. Um, and there is nothing here at all. Uh, not a toilet, uh, which is annoying. Nowhere to buy food. Um, just, just this yard and um, lots of factories in the background, which is great. Um, I've been here for an hour, <laughs> nearly an hour. My train is going to be here soon to take me home, <laughs> which is great because I'm beginning to get very bored. Um, yeah, I think two trains have gone past since I've been here, so that gave me something to look at. Um, I really need a wee, but there's no toilets. I mean, I am in the middle of nowhere, so I could just, you know, I'm not going to. Um, and there's no one here at, at all anywhere the, in fact the only people i've seen since i've been here were two um railway staff that came and put salt down on the floor that's how cold it is it, it, can see my breath it's freezing <laughs> i've walked up and down the platform at this station um about nine times gone over the bridge a few times to look at the other side just to see if, if there's something i missed you know a different color tarmac um i've read all the signs <laughs> this is a silly idea a very silly idea but it's given me something to do and something different that i don't usually do um but yes i'm slowly going mad so i really hope my train comes here soon um i'm gonna find out what time my train is gonna be here because i want to go home okay let's um see when the next train is for me to go home please wait Ooh. this station is patchway the next train to arrive at platform one will be the 1440 Great Western Railway service to Taunton. Okay, so that's 10 minutes. It's half past two now, and the train's going to be here at 20 to three. So that's not too bad. Only 10 more minutes at this desolate station. I think made some weird noises. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up the steps, onto the bridge, and I'm going to talk to you right there. Okay, so I came up the bridge. <laughs> there's a town, there's some houses. Maybe they'd let me use their toilet. There's a lift that's, that's out of service. And then there's the main bridge itself. And I thought I'd be able to get a really cool view from here, but it's like, it's as tall as me. I can just do that and you can see. But um, there are like wires down below that will probably kill me. Well, good timing. I'm gonna cross the other side of the bridge. We'll see what we can see over there. <laughs> Is it exciting? <laughs> no. There's another lift. That one doesn't work either. And um. It's a very industrial place. There is not a lot here. At all. Another person. I'm not the only one anymore. He definitely saw me filming him. Awkward. I have to pop my mask on because there are some other people here now. And they know coronavirus is about. But it's uh, five minutes to go <laughs> until my train. I can't wait. Another person. Look at this. There's now a solid three people here, four including me. Amazing. If you're ever trying to think of somewhere to go, um, don't come here. There is, there is nothing to do and there is a man over there looking at me. Okay, so my train is supposed to be here now. <laughs> it's not. Uh, oh, it is. Haha, <laughs> yes. My train is on its way into the station now. I don't know if you can see it. Just, just, just there. Um, so... I can finally go and get out of this desolate place. Thank goodness. I've made it on the train, but more importantly, I've made it to the toilet so I can go for a wee. Goodbye, my old friend. It was nice knowing you, spending an hour with you.